may be a little late, but I did remember to make this Cringe of the Month that I said I would make today. Cringe of the Month is based on something so stupid in my opinion, I can't believe fans are doing it. It's comparing these two movies. Lightyear and Jurassic World Dominion. What the fuck? Sorry, my phone likes to sometimes jump out of my hands. Why are we comparing these movies? We have a fucking movie based on a toy in the sixth installment of a fucking franchise that debuted in 1995. Does that click in your head that this is stupid? I mean, I get it. The two big movies that have come out over the... They were the two big movies, and we always gotta compare the big two movies, but it's still so fucking stupid to compare a, a, what can be classified kind of as a sci-fi movie, a sci-fi adventure movie, to a dinosaur action movie for the sixth time. Am I the only one that finds that kind of stupid? And then the people who are complaining about Lightyear not doing as well as they wanted it to. Yeah, because to, they released it on the, around the same time where Top Gun Maverick came out. And, and Dominion. Two movies that I pause, a lot of people were looking for, more forward to than just a Buzz Lightyear movie. No disrespect, I chose to watch Lightyear over, Bo over Maverick and... And Dominion, I had a blast. I love that movie. No matter what the haters say, fuck haters. This is a good movie. It's fun. And it's a Buzz Lightyear movie. Exactly what were you wanting out of this? I say that so many times when I talk about movies. The, the phrase, what did you want? Because it, it's so stupid what some people can play about. The villain thing in Buzz Lightyear, in Lightyear, I'll admit, was weird, but I liked it still. I liked so many things in this movie. I love this movie. I love Lightyear. When it comes out on DVD, I'm adding it to the ever-growing, never-stopping collection. Same with Jurassic Park Dominion. I'm paused. I'm going to see that movie because I love Jurassic World. I skipped um, Fallen Kingdom, though. But I got the gist of it that the island was collapsing, and now they're... Now we live in a time... Now in that world, we live in a time where dinosaurs and man live together. Should have just nuked the goddamn island. That's God telling you that these things don't belong. That island collapsing was nature saying, was nature correcting a fault in the system. And you people are going against nature in this world of Jurassic Park. Anyway, again, it's just so fucking stupid that people are comparing these movies. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's like, fuck, let, okay, let me, say, let me say this. Let me say this. On some cases, I get it. When it comes to, like, movie, if it's something like, I can get it. If it's something like this, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, coming out the same, like, his first live-action movie. They do a live-action Miles Morales movie. And it comes out the same night, the same weekend as The Batman 2. I get that. Another good example, Into the Spider-Verse 2 versus League of Super Pets. I get it that those movies at least would be debatable. They'd be at least comparing those movies because it's the company kind of war. DC, Marvel, I get that. But when it's fucking Buzz Lightyear versus Jurassic Park 6, where the fuck is the reasoning behind that? Where is your reasoning for wanting to compare the first movie of a the first movie based off a Toy Story toy versus the sixth installment of a dinosaur franchise? I've said that a lot in four minutes, but it's true. It's stupid that people are doing this. And the idea that some people might have a problem with his his commander being a lesbian and having a kid again. Who gives a shit? You, a lot of people in this generation, especially the younger generation, have fucking praised 
that they're open to everyone. Equality to all as long as you follow our hive mind and that homosexuality in movies is a sin. And that we have to make this big fucking deal that there's a gay couple in a fucking animated movie because that's somehow still a big thing. When it's not, who gives a shit? anymore. Who still gives a shit if there's two guys or two girls in a movie that love each other? Who still gives a shit? It's fucking stupid. It's fucking pointless. And the fucking fact that people are doing this it's truly a point of people complaining just to complain about something. If you want to complain about something, complain about the fucking Craven movie, or as I call it, the Sergei, the Sergei Kravenov movie that's coming out. There's something to complain about. Don't complain about fucking Buzz Lightyear the movie. Dipshits.